What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ryan. I own and operate a 3D printing business here from my home office in New Jersey, about four months old on Etsy and Shopify. I have about 235 orders, growing, learning, bringing you along on this process. In my last video, you saw me unbox some shipments, including the bamboo uh, cool plate, super tack plates. I think that's what they're called. Uh, either way, I got them for my three bamboo lab printers. Uh, in this video, we're going to test them out see how they compare to the textured PEI plate that it comes with and uh, how this can improve the business and what I plan on using them for moving forward. So buckle in and let's see what we got. All right, so I got the SuperTac plate on my original A1 combo. Uh, I want to see how this treats coasters when the graphic is printed on the bed plate directly. So I have one of these letter R coasters that I want to test with that I printed recently on the textured PEI plates. Uh, I like the finish of this. It holds the coasters well and it gives it a little bit of grip. Customers like it and they leave reviews saying they like it. I just want to see how it looks when done this way. So let's go get one sliced up. Same thing. We'll print it the same exact way with the different settings and see how it looks. All right. So we got the letter R coaster with the mouse ears selected. I got the super tack plate selected. So it drops the Bed plate temperature down to 45 degrees for PLA. Let's go ahead and get this sliced up. Okay, it's already sliced. We got about a little under an hour, about an hour. So combo one's good to go already. And let's set it. All right, so it's purging right now, going to another layer. And it, the first layer went down a little, a little weird. It was a little shaky. Uh, it could be the, the slicer. It could... It could not matter once it's all finished because the couple layers after look to be pretty good. Um, but I'm curious to see how it's going to come out once we're finished. So we have about 20 minutes left. I will uh, give you guys an update once we get it off the plate and it's finished. So uh, we're getting closer for this to finish up. We're about 13 minutes left. And I'm sitting here watching it and I'm realizing that I completely forgot about the one of the first things I learned about these plates before I bought them. Um which is that you should not use brims or anything like that. So I had the mouse ears on there because of my original texture PEI settings. Um, I'm hoping this is not that much of an issue to get off. So we'll see how that turns out in a little bit. All right, just finished up. Uh, took an hour as expected. I'm going to get this on the tripod and I'm going to see how hard this is to take off. All right, so that wasn't that hard to get off the printer. It kind of just snapped off once I bent it. Uh, I got to take these mouse ears off. But all right, so honestly, this one did have the same kind of ridge issue that this one did. It's a little bit different, but this finish is so much smoother. Uh, it definitely matches the super tack plate, obviously, but definitely different finishes. Um, I like this a lot. This could be very useful. I don't know if it's perfect for the coasters. I think the coasters might be better with the textured uh, finish, but this is going to be very useful for my uh, wall art that I printed out. So things like that. I think signs, things that you want a nice flat finish surface or almost like a matte finish, this will be perfect for. So definitely exciting, exciting that I'm going to be able to use this in different ways. And I'll bring that more to you. We'll see where we can go from it. So I want to test uh, the plate again. Uh, I found this uh, bamboo super tack plate test, basically like a torture test almost, of uh, this staircase. We're going to go ahead. I think I already got it imported. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this sliced. Switch it over to a one plate. And let's go get this sliced. It's going to take about 50 minutes. Let's get this printed on the, on the one. All right, so I got a build plate holder printing right now for some bamboo plates, obviously, because I just got some in. And I left this and came back, and this is pretty crazy. Uh, looks pretty pretty awesome. Let me try to take it off. Well, came right off, no issues. That's pretty awesome. That uh, It's interesting. I'm going to test this some more, and it's going to be pretty cool to, to mess around with. All right, welcome back. It is the next day. Uh, build plate holder finished up in the middle of the night. Holds seven plates. Honestly, perfect. 
pretty sturdy. Don't need to worry about that. That's a phenomenal print. Um, I was curious and I did send one of my snowman coasters to the A1 combo with the SuperTac plate. And this was the result. Um, I print them face down like this. Uh, so the graphic is down with the indentations facing down. And this is the result. I don't necessarily know why this is what I got. I'm wondering if it was calibration issues or just the filament, but I went ahead and I got the SuperTac plate on the A1 Mini for the first time. And we're testing a snowman coaster, a single snowman coaster on this. Um, Tweak the settings a little bit, got it, I think, right for the most part, and it looks like the first layer just finished up pretty damn well. So I'll, uh, I'll check back in once this finishes up in about 40 minutes, and we can, uh, we'll go from there. All right, fresh off the printer, and I'll be honest, I am quite impressed. Incredibly smooth and consistent first couple layers. Um, really nice, almost matte type of finish. Um, this is what the A1 combo with a cool tack plate originally produced. This had to have been an issue with the nozzle uh, or something, the nozzle touching the bed too much in the first couple layers. Not sure why that happened, but I love this. Not sure if it's gonna be my go-to for the snowman. I love the textured PEI um, finish because it grips cans and mugs a little bit better, but it also, I think, adds a little bit more to the snowman idea. Uh, in person, it makes it glisten a little bit more, and I think that'll that'll help me. But I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section and what you guys think of this. And if you guys have used the cool SuperTac plate already, what your thoughts are and if you had similar results. Uh, I think I'm going to tweak with this a little bit, but I'm really digging it. All right, before I wrapped up today's video, I wanted to talk about the Amazon fulfillment order I had sent about two weeks ago. It was 10 sets of snare drum coasters. Just wanted to see how they did. Uh, they made their way to the Miami, Florida fulfillment center. I think they're gonna get dispersed out from there and we'll see how they do. I'm excited to see how they do. I think it's a very niche object, but I think for the niche that it fits, it could be really cool. The people that I have given it to in my drum corps and drumming community, I've really liked them. It's pretty unique. You can get them anywhere. Like people have all different designs of drums and snare drum stuff, or drums in general, drum drumming merchandise. But this is unique. I haven't seen anything like it, so I'm excited to see how they do on a, on a broader scale, like Amazon. All right, guys, that's all I got for today's video. As always, I am so thankful for the amount of support I've gotten from all of you up to this point. I'm trying to make 2025 as great as possible and really see what we can get out of this and how far we can grow. So thank you for following along. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Give me your feedback down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.